Okay, hello everybody. Hope you guys are ready for a haul because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. So get a snack. Of course, now my dogs are running around like crazy. Um, get a snack, get a drink. I bought 152 items on Saturday, which I'm pretty sure is like the most items I've ever bought at one time before. Um, so Salvation Army had all clothing for 99 cents. They do this every couple of months and um, I always go and it's always like crazy in there. But this is a time when I stock up on a lot of like mall brands, um, which is really my bread and butter. Ugh, I think Bella wants up in my lap. Hey, okay. I didn't know if anyone was going to watch because I did not post this on um, Instagram because I look like a hot mess. Two days ago on Monday, Dalton and I started keto. And today I feel like crap, like keto flu has hit me real hard. And um, I did not think <laughs> that was going to happen. I, you know, like that's what you always think. Oh, that's never going to happen to me. But um, yeah, I feel like sick <laughs> and I look like I'm sick too. So anyways, um, Bella is joining us. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot to share and um, I can't be on for a super, super long time. So I'm just going to go through these things kind of pretty quickly. So um, I had my mom help me. Um, I texted her Friday night or I called her like, hey, do you want to come help me source at uh, Salvation Army? And so we were both there super early in the morning and um, it was really nice because like 10 minutes after the store opened, I looked over her cart and it was full and my cart was full. So we <laughs> basically threw as much stuff in as fast as we could. And then like we spent an hour and a half just going through everything and actually deciding um, what we what we wanted. That's kind of like my strategy on sale days. But anyways, okay, let's go ahead and get started. First is, this is just my Old Navy, but it's this little quilted vest. It's um, kind of like a buffalo check, and I love this style for fall. Personally, this won't go for much because it is Old Navy, um, probably like $10 to $15, but I just love that style. Here's another red item. Um, these are Talbot dress pants. So this time of year, I'm starting to think about Christmas because um, it's going to be here like way sooner than we think. So, you know, items like this, someone might want to wear this like a Christmas party. You never know. And then, so I got a lot of jeans. So whenever there's like a big sale, the jeans is always the first section I go to because I feel like um, there's just more profit to be made there. So um, I, have, I have quite a bit of pants. <laughs> Anyways, first are these um, Abercrombie. I think these are just skinny. Oh no, they're boot cut. I wasn't paying any attention. Dark wash. Um, I'll probably get about 15 to 20 for those, which is pretty standard. Like if I'm paying a dollar for something and it sells for 15, I'm gonna make my $10 profit. And whenever I say prices, just know that I am charging shipping on top of that. So anyways, loft, these are corduroy. Um, skinny pants. I've sold these. I think I sold this exact pair before. I think they went for about 15, which is to be expected for quarter raise, like 15 to 20. Okay, another pair of jeans. These are the J. Crew matchstick. They're a 25 short. Um, the they oh they have a little fading on the knees. Um the toothpick is better to pick up. I think the matchstick is the, um, like the factory version, if I'm correct. Um, but anyways, probably 20 to 25 on those. And then American Eagle. I picked up a lot of American Eagle. It sells for me. Um pretty quickly so I feel like I can't keep it in stock so these are just a cropped they're the artist craft but they're a dark wash probably 15 for those 
And then these are, these are the next level stretch um, jeggings, which um, that's actually what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> right now. Um, they've become my favorite pair of jeans because they're just really stretchy. So these are like an olive green, um, I don't know what to call it, but I like them. <laughs> and they're a good style for fall. Okay, what's this? This is DKNY, which I don't normally pick up. I grabbed a few pieces recently just to kind of test it out. And so far, nothing has sold. I think I've grabbed like a top and a couple pair of jeans um, just to try, like kind of test it out. Uh, but I thought this was really pretty. It has like all this embroidery on the top. And I liked the style. So that's kind of a brand that I'm still trying to figure out. If I even want to like ever pick it up again, you know. <laughs> Next is this Lucky Brand. This is like a, I feel like this is a really common style for Lucky Brand. Like a little Henley with some lace detailing. This one, again, probably only 15 for that. Okay. Next is, this is an Ann Taylor pencil skirt. Just khaki and I just ripped the tag off of that. But um, I grabbed this when we were in line because the line was like all the way to the back of the store and wrapped around. So like as we slowly inched forward, I was like going down the aisles and shopping and I <laughs> kept grabbing things. Anyways, okay. Here is a Calvin Klein little blouse, kind of like a geometric print with green and black and white. Um, I don't pick this brand up all the time, but every so often I will grab it, especially if it's like a dollar or less. I wouldn't really pay more for that. Um, 15 to 20. Okay, this I grabbed for myself. So I thought it was cute. It's just a Target brand, but it's kind of like a boho top. So we'll see. If it doesn't fit, I'll just list it. <laughs> um, that's a thing with like... Shopping for myself, I cannot let myself shop for myself because, like, I'll get way too much stuff. So I did grab a couple of things for myself on Saturday. You know, when it's 99 cents, it's not a big deal. But anyways, okay, next, this is a Talbot's Plus Size. It's a 3X, and it's just this little leopard top. Leopard and snake skin are really in for fall, and um, anything leopard I've been listing lately is selling really quickly. So. Um, you know, if it's a decent brand and a cute style, go ahead and grab it. Um, this one, probably about 15 to 20 for that. Um, okay, this I almost put back. It's the J. Crew Painter Tee. It's just a gray and white striped. This is probably a $10 item because it's just really basic, but it is um, in really good condition. And I noticed that eBay added this specific style, the J. Crew Painter Tee to one of like the drop down options on the item specific. So I'm guessing it's like a popular style for people to search for. Okay, next, this is a crown and ivy little dress. It's actually really cute. Um, it has like cold shoulder detailing and then it has elephants on it. Um, people really like animals and elephants too, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really like that. It's cute. Um, okay, next. This is one my mom grabbed. I think she grabbed that dress too, but this is Odile from Anthropology, and it typically doesn't do great for me, but I really like this top. It's a really pretty floral print. It has a little peplum hem on it, cap sleeves, um, a little ruffle around the collar. I just thought it was cute, so it's probably not going to go for much. It's not like one of those exciting anthropology brands. Um, probably about, again, 15 to 20. Uh, okay, Liz Claiborne. This is one that's going to go for like 10 to 13, but I do pick it up every so often. Um, very rarely, but What's next? Okay, this is J. Crew. It's actually J. Crew Factory, which I tend to stay away from, but it's a good style for fall. It's just this little plaid top, blue and white plaid. 
Okay. This I think is H and M. Yes. It's just a little H and M short sleeve blouse, ten to fifteen for that one. And you know, some of these items I'm not going to get my ten dollar profit on, but some of them I'm going to profit more than ten dollars. It just kind of always averages out. Okay, next is this little top from Express. Um, it's just like a blue button front with lace. And this one is like their elite stretch. So it's kind of stretchy. Okay, so I don't really pick up men's, but when it's in the women's section, I grab it. So this is an Express. It's like a sweater... I don't know. It's more like a Henley, I guess, but it has a hood on it. Oh no, it has a hole in it. Do you guys see that? It's right there. Darn it. I can probably, well, actually, I don't know what I'm saying because I've never fixed anything, but, uh, okay. Oh, well, wait, it has another hole. Okay. I don't know if, oh no, that's the same hole. I'm going crazy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes if it has like multiple flaws, I just won't list it, but I try not to get anything with flaws. Anyways, okay, this is Forever 21, which I try not to pick up, but I thought this was really cute. It's a little shift dress, and it has like beading, little beaded stripes. I love black dresses, so like I guess I'm more drawn to pick them up. Um, that one's like 10 to $15. Okay, here's another Lucky Brand. This tag is kind of coming off, but it's this really cute floral print. 15 to 20 for this one. Okay, this is White House Black Market. And typically I don't get White House Black Market if it's like a solid black like this, but I decided to grab it. Um, it's kind of like a little, like, beach dress. It has this, um, it's kind of, like, smocked in the middle. Super casual dress. Probably 15 to 20 for that. I did get, oh, it's right here. This dress from White House Black Market. There's a tag. This is the older tag. They have come out with a newer one. But, um, oh, this isn't a dress. It's actually a little side slit tunic. But I thought this was really pretty. This one I'll probably get 20 to 25 for. So White House Black Market, they make a lot of black and white pieces like that one. Um, but whenever there's like really pretty colors and patterns, those tend to go for more, which is probably true for any brand. Um, where are you? Oh, Kimchi Blue. So my mom found this in the men's section. <laughs> the brand's Kimchi Blue, sold at Urban Outfitters. It's just this little, it's kind of like a crop top. Um, just a little knit top, 15 to 20 for that. Oh, this is another one I grabbed for me. It's Falls Creek is the brand. I don't even know where that is sold, but, um, it's cute. It has like little navy blue and white stripes and a bell sleeve. And my dogs are going crazy. I shut the window. Like there's a window they always look out of. Um, and they just park at everything that's outside. I closed it so they couldn't see it, but apparently it's not going to help. Okay, this is by Gap. And I typically don't pick up Gap, but I thought this pattern was really pretty. It's like this bright floral. And um, it's like a shirt dress. I've noticed lately um, if I put shirt dress on the title, it sells quickly. So, um, you know. Decided to grab it. And it has pockets too. So um, if you can put pockets in the title, that's another good keyword that people look for. Some more jeans. These are divided by HM. They're these really cool, they're kind of like vintage inspired acid wash, um, high waisted jeans. Probably get about 15 for that one. And what are you? Oh, <laughs> these are Talbots. They're like chambray. Um, they're size 14, but they're like chambray little casual pants. 
I thought they were cute. I'd wear them. And Talbot does really well for me on eBay. I don't cross post it to Poshmark, um, but it does pretty well for eBay. Okay, and then this is another pair of Abercrombie, and these are actually men's. So, like I said, I don't really pick up men's, but if I find it in the women's section, I will grab it. So they are just like the super men's super skinny by Abercrombie. Probably 15 to 20. They look like women's because they are like really, really skinny, but um, 15 to 20 for those. Okay, these are by Kenzie. And um, I don't know a ton about them. I mean, it's sold at like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack and I think like TJ Maxx and places like that. Um, but anyways, they are just dark wash skinny jeans. Okay. This I grabbed based on style. It's by Daniel Rain. And I thought it was really pretty. I love this pattern. It's like a kind of like a mauve. It's not really floral. It's kind of like a splatter print, but from far away it kind of looks floral. Um, but it's like a faux wrap style with a little like tie waist. Thought it was really pretty. I I don't really pick up I used to pick up Daniel Rain occasionally, but I pretty much stopped. Um, okay. This is by Old Navy. Here's another one my mom got. And um, I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't pick up Old Navy, but I, like, it does okay for me. Um, like, it's not going to go for a lot of money, but, like, I can, like, flip it pretty quickly. And so, anyways, I thought this top was really cute. It's a size small. It has these little flowers all over it. And, you know, I just thought it was cute. Okay, here's another one my mom grabbed. And actually, I've seen this in the store before. I've looked at it a few times because it reminds me of Lily Pulitzer. Um, and I don't know anything about this brand, RXB. But it's brand new with tags. Suggested retail $58. So, um, I don't know. But it looks like Lily Pulitzer to me, so that's why I grabbed it. And it's new with tags. Okay, here's another brand I don't really know anything about, but I've, I've seen it lately, like, quite a few times, and everything is always cute, and I kind of thought maybe it was an anthropology brand, but I, I don't think it is. It's Fleur Blue, if I'm reading that correctly, and the RN number doesn't say that it's anthropology, but it doesn't always mean it's not. Pretty sure I looked it up once and it like wasn't really anything, but everything I see is always really cute. So this is a little shift dress, and um, I thought I would try it out just to see how it does because, like I said, everything I see is really cute. Okay, so here's another pair of American Eagle. Um, these are the skinny kick jeans, so they're just like a little boot cut, dark wash. Again, fifteen to twenty. Um, what is this? Loft, curvy, straight. Loft jeans don't do, like, amazing, but they're okay. They'll probably sell for about $15. Um, these are at 30 so they're on the bigger end as far as loft goes. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> this is one that my mom grabbed. And, um has all these little like dangly things in the front and the back um, but it's just like this little tank top it's by BCBG Max Azria and it's 100% silk so this is again another brand I don't always pick up but I thought it was like interesting and different and it was silk so I grabbed it And then again, here's that. So I don't really ever pick up this brand. I see it like kind of often, and I don't know if there's like different levels, like as far as what the tag or like how the tags go, but it's guess. And I see people post this like in hauls and stuff. So I don't know. I decided to grab it. It's this little dress, pink and black, 
again, it has pockets. And, um, okay, I thought maybe it was silk, but it's not. So, you know, I'm going to try it. I think I might have gotten another guess item, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see. Okay. Here is another, I think this is Lucky Brand. Where's the tag? Yeah. Lucky Brand. It's printed. It's kind of hard to see, but just this little, it's kind of like a little boho top. Uh, 15 for that. Here's another pair of corduroys, again, loft, and these are like this really pretty, like, lilac color. Um, this color was big in the spring. I think it's not, like, as popular now, but probably next spring it'll be popular again. Um, okay, another pair of loft jeans, again, curvy, straight, this is the exact same size as the other pair so they probably came from the same person just dark wash jeans oh this is Brandy Melville it's a little kind of like skater style dress with a cutout in the I don't know if you guys can see because it's just black but it has like this big cutout in the back and I was surprised, normally Brandy Melville is all one size fits all, but this actually says small on it, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't pick up this brand super often. It doesn't do amazing. Like, I feel like it used to be a lot more popular, and it's kind of not as much anymore. Okay, another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are high-rise jegging, and they're a size 6 short. Another pair of American Eagle. These are, yeah, just skinny jeans. Very similar to the other ones. And, oh, Paige. Okay, so these are the old tag Paige, which I typically don't grab. They're usually really worn. Um, but these look really nice. They're a nice dark wash. They don't show, like, anywhere. At all. Maybe a little. I don't know if I never know if this is intentional. It's just barely a little bit like that. But anyways, um, you know, I've sold these anywhere from like 15 to 35. It just kind of depends. This is the Hidden Hills boot cut, so who knows? I might price these a little higher because they're in really good condition. And higher for the old tag is like $30, you know? Okay. Next, this is from The Limited. It's a chevron sheath dress. The last limited dress I had sold for like 20, I think, but um, it was new with tag, so this one will probably go for about 15. Okay, this is by Mud Pie, and it's this little tunic top. It has embroidery all down the front, which is really pretty. And on the sleeves, mud pie is like kind of like a preppy, like I don't know how to describe it besides preppy, but um, I feel like it's popular for like teens. I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, here is another. This is a old navy dress. Old navy dresses sell pretty well for me on eBay. So, like, again, they're not going to go for much money, $10 to $15, but um, I can sell them pretty quickly, and I thought this one, I don't pick up all of them, I should say. I'm very selective on what I pick up. There are so many in my thrift stores, so I don't pay more than a dollar for them, and, you know, I'm very selective on the styles, but I thought that one was cute. Okay, here's another Old Navy item. They're these little shorts. I thought these were so cute. Um, this is another item that I grabbed when I was waiting in line. <laughs> I quickly went down all the shorts. And um, they were pretty picked over by the time I got there. But I thought these were so cute. 
Okay, this is an item. I was going back and forth on this because I really like it, but I don't know if like everyone will like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just like fuzzy. Well, first of all, I think it's, I don't know if it's technically vintage, but it's like the old Talbot's tag. Um, I don't know. It's probably not vintage, but it's at least like 10, 15 years old. Anyways, um, it's like this little fuzzy pullover. It's super, super soft. Has like this, is that fair aisle? I don't know. They're kind of like snowflakes. I like this, but um, like I said, it's an older tag. And I couldn't tell if this was like discolored, but my mom said she thinks it's supposed to be this color. It's like uniform. You know what I mean? It's not like patchy or anything. So anyways. We'll see. Okay, here's another Old Navy dress. This one is so pretty. Um, it's a size medium, and it's new with tags. It's a maxi dress, and um, I thought this print was so pretty. I love this. It's like a bluish purple color, and um, it's floral. I love this one. Wish it were my size. Maxi dresses do not look good on me though, so. Okay. This, I don't think I've ever picked this brand up, but I see it occasionally and I grabbed it because it was new with tags and then like when I was going through everything, I realized that they are boys. They're not women's, but anyways, we'll give it a go. Um, so when things typically have like a TJ Maxx tag, and the regular tag with a barcode, I just cut off the TJ Maxx tag because I feel like that actually lowers the value. Because this says $13.99, and this tag doesn't have a price on it, but oh yes it does, $68. So, um, but they're boys, they're just like, what are they? Skinny fit, slim leg, low rise, boys jeans, so. We'll see. I don't think I've ever sold boys jeans before. I've sold a few pairs of like little girls, but never boys. Okay. Next. This is H&M. Again, I don't pick it up a ton, but it's like a lacy. Can you guys see that? It's like black lace little sheath dress. I thought it was pretty. Again, H&M, $10 to $15. And then, okay, here's a brand I don't really know anything about, but I grabbed it based on style, and, like, it seems kind of nice. The brand is Hatley, H-A-T-L-E-Y. It has these little anchors all over it, and then on the back it has this little exposed zipper, and it has this little tag here that has the brand on it. It kind of looks like one of those free people tags. Um, so we'll see. It's anchors. It's preppy. You know, someone will like it just based on the style, but I have to research the brand and see if it's even anything. Probably not, but you never know. When there's like a big um, sale like this and I grab a lot of quantity, I'm not super picky about looking up um, comps. Like I do look up on some things, but that just based on style, I know it's going to sell. So like I'm not too concerned with it. Anyways. Don't listen to me. You guys should always pick up, look up comps. Okay. Um, this is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. I haven't picked this brand up in a long, long time. Uh oh, someone's calling me. It might be my mom, but I don't know that number. So I'm, no, that's not my mom. That's okay. Never mind. Um, <laughs> it is like a little white and gold top. I bought this one based on style. Thought it was cute. Okay, I still have so much to go through, but I'm like, where do I even start? Okay. Oh. Okay, this is a little jacket. Um, it's a little bit longer, like it kind of goes over your butt, but it's like thin, so it's really good for fall. The brand is Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Again, another brand I haven't picked up in a long time. But this is the season to be listing jackets, and the inside is lined leopard, which I love. So it's a size small, and it's cute. Okay, let's go over here. 
Okay, this is a Banana Republic little blouse. Cute, it has a little cutout on the front. My mom actually grabbed this one. Probably 15 for that one because it, or 10 to 15 because it is a uh, factory. So, what is this? Oh, okay, this is Flying Tomato and they are new with tags, which I didn't even realize till like after I put them in the cart. Um, but they're these really cute like palazzo or beach pants, like wide leg. I love this floral print, um, really cute. And then Talbots, little dress pants. They're like black and white. I don't know what that pattern is, but um, just dress pants, probably 20 to 25 for those. If they're wool, you can typically get more. Like I'll typically price wool a little bit higher. These are 70% wool, so that's nice. And they're fully lined. They have a lining all the way down the leg, which is really nice. Okay, Foxcroft. So I feel like Foxcroft used to do a lot better for me, but lately, like, it, I'm not selling it like I used to. Anyways, this one's solid pink. I tried to get, like, the, the ones with patterns and stuff on them, but I don't know. Maybe that's why they're not selling, because I started getting those. But um, anyways, it's just a dress shirt. Foxcroft is sold at department stores like Nordstrom. Um, probably like Dillard's and Saks Fifth Avenue, maybe. I have no idea. Okay, but I know for sure it is sold at Nordstrom. Okay, next is this is a little J. Crew flannel. I love this pattern for fall. I feel like I had this exact same shirt at one point. Um, and I'm so sad because I used to wear a shirt just like this with a black puffer vest. And um, there was a black puffer vest in my size at Salvation Army, and I was going to run and grab it on Saturday, and it was gone. So, anyways, <laughs> that's kind of random. But, anyways, okay. J. Crew, it is J. Crew Factory, so uh, probably 15 for that one. This is Loft. I did not get a lot of Loft on Saturday. I feel like typically at this Salvation Army, I can get a good amount, um, but there just wasn't a ton. So it's a little tunic blouse. Um, it's kind of like a off-white with like gray heathering in it. Okay, hold on, sorry, I need to. I can feel my throat getting dry, okay. Let's keep going because I still have a lot to show. Okay, here's another Gap dress. Like I said earlier, I don't pick it up all the time, but I thought it was cute. It's kind of summery, a little beachy, um, navy blue and white striped. Here's another J. Crew item again, J. Crew Factory, but um, thought it was pretty. Little fluttery sleeves and a floral print. Another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the kick boots. And I have another pair of American Eagle um, high rise jegging. These are the size six. And what are these? Vanilla Star. So I have never ever grabbed this brand before, but there were a couple pair that looked cute. So I grabbed them, but I, this could be really bad. And they have, I just noticed they have like a really stretchy waistband. They seem really comfortable. So I don't know if you guys know where these are sold, <laughs> go ahead and let me know. But, um, these are just like jeggings, you know, dark wash skinnies. So I grabbed them. We will see. Um, these are American Eagle jeans. So whenever you see the cursive like this, that's like the really old I don't know about really old, but anyways, the older style. And then when you see this one, this one's kind of in between. And when you see the American Eagle, that's kind of like block letters. Um, I think I have a pair over there, but I can't get up and get them right now. 
Um, and they, I'm pretty sure they just say American Eagle. They don't say Outfitters. Those are the newest American Eagles. And I always grab those. They sell really quick for me. But anyways, this is the older one. But I grabbed them because they have these studs on the pockets on the front and the back. So they had something, you know, a little extra. And they're a nice dark wash in good condition. So... And then again, here's another pair with the old label, I guess you could call it, but they're distressed boot cut. And this style, or if you can get like distressed flare, that style has been doing really well for me. Um, but I grabbed those based on style. Okay, and then here are a pair of White House Black Market. I think these, yeah, they're like a boot cut. And um, yeah, flare, or not flare. I just said boot cut. Dark wash, um, J. Jill, these little, they're linen, 100% linen. Just little casual pants with some pockets in them. Okay, so here's the other pair of Vanilla Star and they have like a bunch of Maybe not a bunch of, but they have like, like rips and embroidered little pieces on them. So yeah, like I said, I grab these on style. So we'll see how they do. I need to look up comps. I I don't know anything about them. So sorry that I don't have more information, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Dana Bushman, I have not picked up this brand in a very, very long time, but I grabbed it based on the print because it is like a snakeskin print, which is really in right now, so. Okay, next. These are Anthropology brand, which I don't think I've ever picked up anything that's like just Anthropology. So we'll see, these are the Essential Slim. They're kind of like a chino pant. Um, and I think they're cropped, but they seem a little short. Anyways, they're a size 14. And yeah, we'll see how they do. Probably like to about 25. Like if I had to guess, I haven't looked up comps, but I would guess about 25 for those. More jeans. These are the Old Navy Rockstar Skinnies. Light wash. Um, 10 to 15 for those. They don't go for much, but they do sell fairly quickly. Okay, these are, oh, uh, Hill Curl on the Letterpress. These are from Anthropology. I have sold this exact same pair, but in a different color. And I think they went for like 35 maybe. Um, but they're like a wide leg, casual linen pant. Okay, I don't typically look at activewear very often. I feel like I should more because um, I found some good stuff over the past week. But um, I picked up a few pair of Old Navy Active leggings because I've heard a couple people say that they sell fairly quickly. And um, it's one of the brands that I like to wear for active wear. So, you know, I figured if I like it, other people will too. So these are like this bright floral pink and purple kind of. Um, pair so I'm guessing 10 to 15 and then again these are old navy active these are like a gray striped and then I grabbed these bright blue ones little yoga crops so um, we'll see testing it out I've never grabbed I'm just gonna pull this whole pile over here um, I've never picked those up before. So next, this is a J. Crew, the perfect shirt. Again, another just plaid top. This is more of like a summer print or like a spring summer print. And then another old navy top. Just yellow and white striped. It's very 
basic, but I think my mom grabbed one because I do not remember grabbing that. And then Ann Taylor. I don't know what they're barking at. Nothing outside. Okay. Just a little orange and white striped. It's kind of like beachy, you know, like it's really lightweight. And um, I don't know. So Bella starts the barking, and then Jack just Jack just runs up and starts barking, and he doesn't even know what he's barking at. But they just, like, feed each other, and it never stops. Okay, <laughs> here is a Forever 21 kimono. I grab kimonos pretty much no matter what brand they are, um, you know, when they're cheap like this. And I just sold one for $10. So, you know, Forever 21, that's about... How much you can expect. Bella. I don't know what, what they're going crazy about. Okay. Here's another H&M. I'm just going to ignore her. Hopefully she stops. Um, H&M. I grabbed this one based on style. I thought it was really pretty. White and pink floral with little bell sleeves. And it's kind of like a peplum hem. thought it was really cute. This, my mom grabbed, um, we like parked our carts in the corner and we were going through everything and she like wandered away. She came back with this. Um, it's Bowdoin. It is, I think it's a silk blend, silk and visco switch. Um, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But um, just a little short sleeve blouse, super wrinkled right now because it's been in the bag. But that one, probably $25 for that. And then this is another leopard item. Um, it's by Talbots. It's 100% wool. Little cardigan sweater, size large. Um, probably 15 to 20 for that. This one I grabbed because it was brand new with tags. It is the limited. There's the little tags so are retail, about $60. Says online exclusive. Um, so it's just a little cowl neck sweater. It's purple. I love purple. It's kind of like a tunic length. And it's really soft and comfortable. That is a size medium. Okay, this loft piece I really like. And it's an extra, extra small petite, but it doesn't look like an extra, extra small. Like it looks like a regular extra small. Anyways. Um, but it's black and white striped. It has these little tie details on the wrist, which I think is really cute. Okay. We're probably like two-thirds of the way. Like, I have a little... Well, it's actually not little, but I have a pile over here. And, like, this pile over here is getting really tall. But anyways, um, another loft piece. This is just a little cable knit sweater. It has, like, metallic threading throughout. So 15 to 20 for that. And then this is um, And Away, right? This tag is weird. I think I'm saying that right. I think it's And Away. It's just from Target. Um, it's a little chambray popover, but I grabbed it because it has this, like, I don't know what to call it, this stripe kind of like down the side, That a new day. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense now that I see it. Um, but anyways, I grabbed it just because I thought that detail was cute. It's kind of like Western. And then this is Beach, Lo Beach Lunch Lounge. And it has that little tie detail. Again, this is kind of like a spring-summer piece, but I do not source seasonally, and I do not list seasonally. I list everything year-round because I sell everything year-round, so, like, I just don't make a big deal out of it. Um, this is another H&M piece. I grabbed a lot of H&M. don't typically get that much, but it's a little button-front blouse, black and white, kind of like a little micro-floral print and what's this banana republic 
This is, again, a little popover style short sleeve blouse. It's like an oversized fit because it's a small, but it, it's like kind of wide. This I love. It's really soft and it reminds me of the 4th of July. It's Eddie Bauer and it's a little fleece like half zip pullover navy blue with white stars and a um, little red zipper. It's really soft. Um, so yeah, I don't, I feel like that will probably sell by the, like closer to the 4th of July, but you never know. It's like a fall piece because it's a fleece pullover, but the print reminds me of summer. So who knows? Um, this is Banana Republic. Again, new with tags. And these are the Logan dress pants. They're a little blue pinstripe. So I've been picking up a lot of like dress pants and blazers lately. I like selling career wear. I don't typically cross post it on to Poshmark. Some of the blazers I do, but dress pants, not really. I usually just post it on eBay and I'm done with it. Okay, so this dress is by Express. Size small, little flit and flit, fit and flare <laughs> style. I've been talking too long. Um, cute, probably 15 for that. I need more water too. Okay. Let's keep moving. These are Hollister. So I didn't start picking up Hollister until a couple months ago, but um, the first few pair I had sold really fast. Um, and I, I will say if they have like a lot of distressing and rips and holes on them, those are better, but these are really nice dark wash. I really like dark wash in case you guys haven't noticed, but, um, 15 to 20 for those. Okay. This is um G and I used to pick up um G a lot when I lived in mobile and I just like don't find it anymore and it I don't know I kind of stopped picking it up when I lived there too because it just I don't know some pieces did really well and some didn't but I grabbed this one because it was brand new with tags so again it's kind of like a well it's like more like an a-line style but it has like this textured um lace on it so okay These are Bowden, and they're kind of like um, chino pants, or like a khaki pant, but they're gray. And they are a little faded. Let's see, they're a US 8 long, so they're like a khaki crop. But um, I still grabbed them because they were a dollar, and there's not like any stains or holes or anything, so... You know, I always just note that in the in the little description, and I see things that um, or sorry, I note it in the description, and I still sell things that have little flaws on them. So, anyways, oh hi, um, okay, so I grab I grab mostly um, mall brands. I didn't get a lot of stuff that was that's gonna go for more than twenty dollars. Okay, next, this is Loft. Yes, Heidi, I remember. I couldn't think of your name, but I remembered your little handle from Instagram. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Loft. This is a little chambray popover top, and I really like it because it has the, um, has like little embellishments on the, whatever you call this, where it buttons up. <laughs> Ah, okay, I've been live for 50 minutes. That would explain why I like can't think straight anymore. Okay. Oh. Okay. Next, this is a, a New York income placket. Oh, you're so smart. See, I don't know those kind of things. Um. Anyways, this is a New York and Company little cardigan. It's like textured. I don't pick up a lot of New York and Company, like 10 to 13 for that. You know, it's not anything amazing, but I do sell it. 
Um, okay, this is a Victoria's Secret pink hoodie. And I stopped picking up um, pink and Victoria's Secret. Um, but I, I decided to grab this because I thought it was cute. It's just a little hoodie. And it doesn't have, like, if you can get where it says, like, huge, like, pink on it, um, like, in sequins or, like, it's not embroidered. I don't know what those, like, those big, thick letters, um, those do really well. But that just has, like, a little pink on it, so it might not go as fast or for as much. Okay, here's another... White House Black Market dress. I think this is really pretty. You can't really see. Oh, maybe a little bit. It has like a bunch of draping. And um, I just think it's really pretty. The style is probably really flattering. Um, it's a size 6. Little cocktail dress. Probably 20 for that. And then another loft piece. Here's all the loft. I like selling loft. Um, a little blouse. Kind of like a maroon slash wine color and white. And what are you? These are J. Jill. These are the Pont Slim. They're basically like, le well, not really. They're kind of like leggings, but they're in olive green color. And this material, like this Pont, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's P-O-N-T-E. It could be Ponte, but I don't think that's right. Um, anyways, it's like this really thick, like stretchy, comfortable material, and, um, and like these pants do okay for me. Um, usually about twenty dollars. Okay, I thought my big pile was about to like topple over. Okay, here is an Eileen Fisher, and this is plus size Eileen Fisher, which I rarely find. Um, and it's like an, it's an older style. It's a, it's very basic. It's linen. It's just like a short sleeve, little top, but, um, it's Eileen Fisher and it's plus size. So I grabbed it. Here's another J. Jill piece. This is a little lightweight cardigan in a mint color, probably 15 for that one. Okay, here's an Ann Taylor top. Has this like cowl neck short sleeve, probably 15. This is H&M, size eight. Green and white stripe. This reminds me of um, St. Patrick's Day. It's like really bright Kelly green. Chico's. I didn't get a lot of Chico's, did I? Normally on Saturdays I usually grab a few items, but this is just a, you know, super, oh, it buttons up the front and then it has this little tie detail that I didn't know. I didn't notice before. Ties at the bottom. Chico's does well for me on eBay. I don't cross post it to Poshmark. Um, okay, this brand, I picked up a few items from this brand, and I don't really know anything about it, but I've, like I said, I've grabbed it a few times. Carmen Mark Volvo, Valvo, anyways, this little sweater, purple, it has some little cutouts right here, so, you know, I don't, I don't know a lot about that brand, but... We'll see. <laughs> you know, when things are a dollar or 99 cents, like, I am, like, a little, I'm, like, more willing to take chances on items that I don't know a lot about. Okay. Here's another example of that. This is Jack's Girlfriend. I've seen other people post about this brand. I see it quite often, actually, but I've never grabbed it. So, um, it's, like, a little gray. It's, like, a chambray material button front top um, with little cap sleeves. And we did look up comps on this one in the store. And I think this exact top sold for 30, but not everything was going for that high. So I don't know. 
maybe it, I would guess at least 20, maybe 30 if I'm lucky on that. I did grab one little bathing suit. There was one that I that was over there. It was by Aerie and it it was like a red one piece with cutouts on the side. It was really cute, but it was gone when I got over there. So I grabbed this one. It's by Aerie and um, it's just like a bright pink little triangle bikini top. I don't have the matching bottoms. I don't like selling bikini bottoms. That's just one thing I do like no. Um <laughs> but I did grab the top. So you know, it's it's little, there's not much to that, so it's not going to go over much money, but I thought it was cute. Um okay. This is Talbots. Again, this is the older tag Talbots. But I like this pattern. It's like like a lot of different colors. Paisley This is um, H&M, brand new with tags, a blazer. I've been listing a lot of blazers lately. This one's really cute, gray, one button, size 12. This is Tiny from Anthropology. I don't think I've ever picked up this brand before. I think I've seen it a couple times, but I never grabbed it. Um, it's just a little knit top and, um, striped. It needs a little, like, it has a little bit of pilling that I'm going to take care of real quickly with my, um, little sweater shaver, but it's pretty cute. Okay, this is another Gap piece. Oh, I didn't know this was new with tags. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Okay. Um, gap. And it's again, a shirt dress, like it buttons up the front right here and it has a collar on it. So I did grab it because it was a shirt dress and I like the colors, blue and white. Okay. This is an old Navy active tank top and I got it for myself. But if it doesn't fit, I'm going to sell it. And it's one of those styles, like, Old Navy has a couple styles that look exactly like Lululemon. Whenever I see them in the store, I, like, get excited. And then um, I realize it's Old Navy, and then I'm disappointed. But anyways, okay, here is a White House Black Market uh, dress pants. Boot cut. They're, like, a cream color. Probably about 15 to 20 for those. This is J. Jill. The little tunic top. I think this one's plus size. Yeah, 2X. It's a little asymmetrical tunic. It has a little pocket on the side. It, this kind of reminds me of um, Logo by Laurie Goldstein. This style. But um, plus size, J. Jill as well. Okay. Next is this little Hollister dress. I didn't get a lot of Hollister, but um, this is a little fit and flare. It's like red with blue and white. And then what else? Okay, we are making our way to the bottom. This is a Columbia. It's not um, PFG, it's just regular Columbia. So it's not, Oh, actually, it is vented. That's a good word to use, or a good keyword to use in your title is vented. You guys probably know that. But it, when it has, like, this with the mesh and stuff, people search for that. Anyways, it's just a women's, like, button front, like, hiking shirt, I guess that's what that is. Next. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Maybe. Not really. Oh, my big pile of clothes just fell over. Okay, this is a loft lounge. They're little, like, cotton, I think they're cotton linen blend. Yeah, um, they're just little lounge pants, you know? They have a raw hem. They're kind of like a wide leg. They are loft outlet, so probably, like, 10 to 15 for these. This is another loft piece. It's just a linen little top, but it has a cute pattern on it. 
probably 10 to 15 for that one because it is like a basic tea. Here is Banana Republic. I thought this was really pretty. It has like a fluttery kind of sleeve. This one I think is pretty. And um, I think like this reminds me of Christmas because it's like gold or not. It's red, <laughs> white, black, and has a little bit of gold in there, I guess. But it's by Jones, New York. And it's just like tweed it, tweed. Tweed. <laughs> little cardigan pockets. I could totally see someone wearing this to like a Christmas party or something like that. Or to work. Okay. It's been an hour. That's why I can't talk. Okay. Let's keep going. Here's another pair of active wear pants that I've never grabbed before. Victoria's Secret Sports. Um, again, another brand I like to wear. I pretty All my leggings I buy are like Victoria's Secret, Old Navy, or Zella from Nordstrom. And those are the brands I tend to resell. Well, that's not true. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I tend to sell Zella, Athleta, Lululemon. And then the other day I picked up Old Navy and Victoria's Secret. Anyways, these are <laughs> like a heather gray... Um, they are the Knockout by Victoria's Secret tight, and oh, they don't have any pockets on the sides, but they do have one on the waistband. A lot of the Victoria's Secret ones, and I notice a lot of companies are starting to do this now. They put little pockets on the side, like on the hip, which is really nice. I don't buy them anymore unless I have that. Um, okay, another pair of athletic pants. Lucy, these are like a wide leg. Um, Lucy doesn't do as well for me as it used to, so those will probably go for like 20. Here is a J. Crew. This is actually this is the first item that's like the current J. Crew. Actually, I don't know if this is current. Sorry, can you guys tell I'm like delirious right now? Um, lately I've picked up a few J. Crew items that have cursive, and one of them was from this past summer. And one of them was from last fall. So I don't know if all the tags they're making now are cursive, but if you see the black tag with white cursive, um, those are like really current styles. This one is summer 2015, so it's not really new at all, but it's linen and it's just a little tea. Okay, this is another Jacru item. Again, with a black tag. And um, this one is spring 2015. So you, if you guys don't know, the J. Crew always has the style number on the inside tag. And whenever you just Google that, the first link that always comes up is the J. Crew website with um, the item, which is really nice. So anyways... Another little cotton top. And then, okay, my mom grabbed two of these. And they're not something I would typically pick up. But, um, I don't know. I decided to grab them. So, they're Adidas. But this one says USA Armed Forces. And then this one says USA Armed Forces. One's red, one's navy blue. I don't know if I should sell them together. They're both a size small. I'll probably sell them individually. I feel like that's easier to just list things individually. Um, but they're like little athletic tops. So I don't think these will go for much. But um, I thought I would give it a shot. This is really cute. Okay, so this is St. John's Bay. I don't... I think I've only picked this up once before. But it sold. And that was recently, like a few weeks ago. So I picked up another one. And I really like it. It's a, like a tunic style. It's very beachy, um, white and blue stripes. And it didn't sell for much. I think it sold for $12.99 free shipping. So, like, you know, it's not going to bring in a lot of money. But I thought it was really cute. Okay. I think this is the only free people item I got. And someone's trying to call me again. 
Okay. Um, it's this little, I almost said flit and flare again. Fit and flare, it's like this um, lilac-y floral pattern. It has little tulle at the bottom. And it is the old, or I think this is an older Free People. If you guys can even see what that says or what it is. Um, but anyways, I still grabbed it. it. That probably won't go for much because it's not like a super sought after style. Okay, here's another men's item. These are Columbia hiking pants. So I grab them. I don't pick up like every men's item I see. Honestly, when going through the rack, I thought these were women's. I just saw Columbia and I grabbed them. But then after looking at them and I saw the size, I realized they were men's and I decided to keep them. Okay. This is a Ann Taylor little blouse. Has a little ruffle detail. Um, probably 15 for that. Oh, guess what, guys? There's a whole bag down here that I forgot about. Okay, we'll get to it. It's fine. Um, okay. White House Black Market. These are little shorts. Guys can't probably, probably can't tell very well, but they're kind of like dress shorts. If that's even a thing, but they have like a little cuffed hem and they're like a little bit dressier. Okay, Forever 21. Like I said, I don't typically get this, but um, I thought it was cute with the embroidery on the front and then on the back as well. I liked the color and the style. This is, I think this is Talbot's, yes. Talbot's floral, um, 15 for that. Oh, another pair of activewear leggings. These are Puma. I saw a lot of Puma and Nike when I was going through, but I just got these because they're like a basic black and they have the pockets on the hips like I was talking about earlier. So we'll see, probably 15 for those. Okay. This is American Eagle, little blouse, sheer. Um, 10 to 15 for that. Okay, let me grab all these. Okay. I had to just put everything on the floor because I didn't have room for all of this. And now it's just everywhere. This room's a mess right now. Okay. Next is the skirt from HD in Paris. This is an anthropology brand. Um, it's different. Like these are kind of like waves. Or at least that's what I saw. And like rocks and waves. <laughs> I feel like I need to find a style name for this because uh, I don't know. But anyways, it's a size 16. It's different. I have I saw this in the store for several weeks, but I was waiting for it to go on sale because it is different and I didn't know about the pattern. So, okay. Next are these J. Crew. They're little eyelet shorts, navy blue. I thought these were really cute. And they have like a, oh, I thought the hem was scalloped, scalloped, but it's not. So, but really cute. Those are a size two. This is an Ann Taylor skirt. And it kind of looks and feels like wool. Like it's like a knitted kind of material but it's not I was kind of surprised it's oh actually that's a lie it's 60% viscose 40% wool so it's part right um but it's like a cream color and then this is another Ann Taylor um pencil skirt navy blue Super, when it's super basic like that, it's not going to go for as much money because, like, 
I mean, how many navy blue pencil skirts are there in the world? Probably a lot. So I try to get the ones that are like a cute pattern on them. Okay, Mason Jewels. I haven't picked this brand up in a very, very long time. But I grabbed it because it's like a sweater, kind of, or a sweatshirt. And it has these really cute embellishments all on the front. It's an extra large, so it's a good size. I grabbed this one based on style. And then um, two by Vince Camuto, a little tan like knit top and it has these like sheer white panels on the front and like kind of on the shoulders. And then this just fell, of course. Um, this I think is really cute. It's loft cardigan with sequins. And um, I think this one is wool as well. No, it's actually linen. Was not expecting that. Anyways, I really like the sequins on there. Okay. Everything's so far away. Okay. This is Paper Crane. My mom grabbed this one. And it has a little leopard collar. It's just a sheer top, but it has leopard. And then another Lucky Brand. About 15 for that. It's very just like a basic, a basic top. A J. Crew cardigan. This one's like a really lightweight um, knit. And that one is wool and mohair. What is mohair? Do you guys know? Because I don't know. I feel like that's something I should know. Anyways, okay. I have one more bag of items. And I think they're all jeans. Nope, that's not true. They're not all jeans. But anyways, one last bag. Then we are done. Because I need to leave soon. In like 13 minutes, so we gotta hurry. Um, okay, these are Lucky Brand. Um, sweet and Low boot cut, dark wash. I haven't picked up Lucky Brand very much, but I'm guessing 15 to 20. J. Jill, smooth fit straight leg. I sold a pair very similar to this for either 20 or 25. I don't remember. White House Black Market. These have kind of like a, you know where they have buttons on both sides? Reminds me of like a sailor for some reason. Um, boot cut, dark wash, 20 bucks for those. And then another pair of American Eagle. These are kick boot, I got a lot of kick boot. Medium wash. And Oh, Pilker on the letterpress. That's a good one. Oh, mohair is from the Angora Goat. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about like wool or I don't know. Like there's different kinds of wool, right? Like um, I can't think right now. But anyways, anyways, okay. Pilker on the letterpress. These are stet size 29 skinny jeans probably 35 on those and then the very last uh, oh no that's not true okay another pair of jeans articles of society i sold these uh several months ago for 18 i think so i'll probably price those the same and then the very last item is Charter Club. I don't pick this up super often. Um, but it's like a quilted jacket. Again, red Christmas jacket. And it has um, like trim, like a faux suede trim on it. I thought it was cute. So that is the last item. I think this is my longest live stream 
ever. And um, I feel like I'm forgetting things. I don't know why, though. Um, anyways, if you guys made it to the end, you guys deserve a prize because I could not even make full sentences for the last half of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like haul videos or live haul videos because I part of me wants to start doing like live hauls every Saturday but I don't know if like every week is too much so anyways let me know and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you very soon with another video bye Stop.